to be. The USB has been a common item owned by practically every computer user today. From students to professionals, each has at least one USB in his or her possession. Because its use has become commonplace, it can be easy to take the USB for granted. Especially for those who've been introduced to computers in just the last decade. We're taking a look back at how the USB changed the landscape of connectivity and information exchange. So what's a USB? The USB, or the Universal Serial Bus, has a standardized port that's designed to accommodate many different types of hardware devices. It is used for connecting peripherals to a computer. Today, most modern devices for computers, including printers and scanners, digital cameras, and even mobile devices like iPods, MP3 players, and cell phones, has the USB port incorporated in its design. Before the USB, users had to struggle with different and incompatible connecting devices. Practically, anything that needed to be connected to a computer required a variety of ports. There were the parallel and series ports used to plug in devices to computers and allow data exchange. Connecting a mouse, a keyboard, printers or scanners, and game consoles would each need different ports. There were also expansion cards and custom drivers that were necessary to connect devices and make them work. Back then, data transfer via parallel ports lasted at approximately 800 kilobits or 100 kilobytes per second. Serial ports range from 115 to more than 450 kilobits or 4.38 to 56.25 kilobytes per second. And some ports could not run simultaneously. Thankfully, in 1994, the first USB technology began. It was co-invented by AJ Bat of Intel and the USB IF or the USB Implementers Forum Incorporated. The USB IF is an organization of industry leaders like Intel, Microsoft, Compaq, LSI, Apple, and Hewlett Packard. This group of companies supports and adopts comprehensive specifications for all aspects of USB technology. In the early to mid-2000, the USB began to replace many other things. The USB is responsible for the death of the floppy disk. People also hardly used the zip drive. CDs and DVDs used for data storage soon became a rarity. The USB was smaller, faster, and more versatile, and it could get the job done more quickly. There you have it!